Real quick reminder for you before we get into this video, guys. If you want to get entered to win the 2007 5.9 Cummins we're giving away, it is the last two or three days left of this giveaway. It ends on April 14th at 11.59 p.m. So on the night of April 14th, at the end of that day, the giveaway is over. So if you have not done so yet, head on over to lmpgear.com. If you're thinking about getting entered, don't waste any time. Grab those entries, grab any product on the store, and as soon as you check out on that store, you're automatically entered to win. It's lnpgear.com, place those orders if you wanna get in. For those of you that are thinking about it or you're on the fence, you are almost out of time. So thanks so much, let's get on with the video. For those of you that have power seats in a second gen, I don't know if it's just my wife's truck. Maybe nobody else has had trouble with the power seats, but I know that when she got the truck originally back in 2018, the power seats didn't work. So her dad, he had messed with some sort of wiring to get the seats to work again. They did end up working again for about two years and then the power seats haven't worked again since so for the last year and a half ish we've been driving it with no power seats so luckily it happened to stop in a position that's somewhat comfortable for both of us but it's just not ideal because at least for me personally i'll show you the space i'm not real tall but i'm 5'10 and so this seat whenever i do drive it it's a little bit close you know it's it's pretty close and so there's not a lot of leg room in here luckily it's still enough to where I can you know get in and out and drive it just fine and for her it's set up just about perfect the most important thing I guess something must have just come disconnected or maybe there's a fuse for the power seats I don't know I'm gonna start to address this little by little and see if we can get something going here originally I had a few different things I was gonna do for today's video because I told you guys I was gonna try my best to bring back some daily uploads in the comments of the last video and a lot of people liked it and they thought yeah that'd be a good idea try to bring it back if you can, so I was like, okay, cool, let's try it. The first thing I was gonna try to do is pick up that new truck that I told you we got locked down, and I put a deposit down on it and everything, and um, yeah, some complications with that. Um, I'll go into a full story, hopefully, when we get it picked up, I'll be able to go into more detail, but let's just say there were some complications with the truck in terms of nothing like engine or transmission, catastrophic nothing like that but let's just say that he went to take the truck for a test drive the guy that I'm buying it from just to make sure everything's still good because he hasn't driven it all winter and the hood wasn't entirely latched so you guys can put the rest together so that's being sorted out right now we're gonna leave out all the fine details for another video because it's Kind of a lot I'd like to go into. I'll let you guys go from there in your imagination. And then I thought about doing some upgrades to my dad's King Ranch because I ordered some new parts for him as a birthday gift because his birthday is, I think it's April 20th is his birthday. And so I was gonna get some uh, truck parts like I did a few years ago for him. A couple years ago I did for the King Ranch. So I got him some different parts for the truck. Stuff that he had mentioned, he's like, yeah, it'd be nice to get this done at some point. So I ordered those parts and I was gonna do a video of installing those and revealing them to him, letting him see how he likes them and those are delayed of course those are supposed to be in today as well i was asking my wife i said so what should i do for a video she said hey rosine's power seat hasn't been working for over a year now fix the power seat i was like well i don't know if they want to see that or not well, let's get to it so the first thing i'm going to do is check this fuse panel right here and just see if there's anything in here that could be related to the seats and then i'm going to go into the engine bay and see if there's anything in the engine bay that could be related to the seats as well because if it is something like that then it'd be simple enough swap it out and it's done but i'm not so sure if that's going to be the case or not so we're going to just take a look at everything and then i'll get back with you as soon as i find a solution i fiddled around with that dumb thing for an hour i don't see anything blown in terms of any kind of fuses that could be related to the seat. All the wires underneath, they're all still connected. Connections are tight. There's only one thing that I think could be the culprit, and I'll grab that and show you what it is. But other than this one thing, I can't find anything that's obviously wrong with it, other than possibly the switches itself on the side of the seat could be bad, and I'll show you that. I mean, obviously the switch panel here could just be shot, which can be taken out right there. But this part here, um, I'm gonna disconnect this and show you something, but this here I don't know if that's supposed to rattle like that or not But it does and it's this box that's mounted to the cup holder Slider underneath the middle seat on another note I know that when I installed this new exhaust tip on the third gen the other day 
I, th I was like, you know, it looks pretty good, but you know, it doesn't match anything on the truck. Well, I got enough comments that were like, hey dude, put a put a black exhaust tip on there. So we're gonna do that right now. I went down a size, so that one's a five inch to a seven inch. This one is a five inch to a six inch. So it's a slightly smaller outlet size. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I've been driving around with that seven inch for about a week and a half-ish. And it, it hums so obnoxiously. Like when you're going down the road, I don't know what it is, but it's just like this, like this real, real annoying hum sound at most of your normal driving speeds, like 45 to 65. It just hums so annoyingly. This might do the same thing, I don't know, but five inch inlet, six inch outlet, so it's nothing like crazy. All this is gonna do hopefully is dress up that rear tailpipe because it's already been cut for a tip in the past, but there's no tip on it. So we're just gonna put this on there and take that other one off and hopefully it, you know, gets rid of that obnoxious hum because it never did that before I put that tip on there. Might have been why he took it off. This is a little bit smaller in diameter, but you know, I still wanna dress up the tailpipe with something other than just, you know, the exhaust cut off up under the rear bed fender. So let's get this swapped out. Here we go. We got an exhaust tip that actually matches the truck. You're welcome. I will be honest with you guys, I didn't mind the chrome, but it does look a lot better. I'm gonna be going over through some questions on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. His Instagram is cornbread underscore 4455. He said, if you could go back to when you were 17 and start your entire YouTube channel and brand all over again, what would you do differently knowing what you do now? It's a good question. And I'm gonna be careful how I answer this because there's not a ton that I would do different in terms of like filming all the stuff that I filmed. Like back in the beginning, I wasn't afraid to film anything. Like I would film a video of me mowing my parents' lawn and somehow I thought somebody's gonna wanna watch this. So I would literally get a time lapse of me mowing, edit that up and post it on the YouTube channel and it would have nothing to do with trucks and I would post it. And believe it or not, it would get 10, 15, 20,000 views on, on just stuff like that. Or if my dad was like, hey, we're gonna be doing hay stuff so I'm gonna need you to move a tractor around and pull a wagon. I'd be like, okay, cool, I'm gonna film with that. And I would totally just film stuff like that and it didn't even cross my mind as being like unworthy of people's time to watch. Like now, I feel like I overthink so much about what I film. I almost feel like, well, if it's not like this crazy action-packed video, nobody's gonna watch it. And maybe that's true for a lot of people. Back in the day when I started, I filmed anything. I didn't have money to do anything else. So I just filmed anything I could to get YouTube videos out because me producing videos was just fun and it was the only way we made money at the time. When I say we, I mean at the time I was single, at the time I didn't have anything going on. So I wouldn't change that. But in terms of things I would change different about maybe the brand, that's a tough one too because I feel like you have to have a humble beginning. And when I say that, I mean like you have to sometimes have those rough starts or have those stores that in the early stages I was running and my store had merch that looked like looking at it now compared to like the stuff that my wife designs now you know this this cool stuff you know like it it looked like so childish and i made it all myself i just designed designed it all myself there's no real design work now that i know what can be done there's no real design work that went into it it was it's pretty funny now looking back but you know, I don't know. I feel like if I started out with everything going perfect, I wouldn't value how things are going now. Hopefully that makes sense. So here's a question from Alex underscore PFAU. Would you ever get into a newer Gen Dodge or any newer truck for that matter? You know, we've had newer trucks and we had, you know, I had a 2017 Platinum. I had a 2019 Limited Ram Dually. It was like the first one sold in the state of Indiana. You know, I got my wife a brand new 2018 Tradesman one, at one point and we did some cool stuff to it. And then I had, you know, my, my first new truck was my 2018 Longhorn that I bought back when I was 18. I freaking love that truck. So we've had newer trucks. We'll probably end up getting another newer truck. There's a lot of reasons we got out of them, but for the most part, you know, I thought like, oh, if I get these new trucks, you know, it'll give me so much more to film on YouTube and everybody will like the video so much more if I get a new truck and I'll, you know, and the business will be so much more profitable if I can, you know, do videos on a newer truck and have more stuff to do and, you know, the giveaways will do better and all this other stuff. And so like I was buying these trucks thinking like, oh, this is going to be like this great crazy thing and it just didn't end up being the case. And so I'm like, well, for now, 
I'm gonna step away from that. You know, we might get another new truck, I'm sure, at some point here, it probably won't be too far off in the future. But for the time being, it just didn't seem like it fit us very well in terms of like for the brand and for that purpose. And if I'm not gonna use it for a giveaway truck, like I did with all the other ones, it really just doesn't make a lot of financial sense to just go buy, you know, especially with truck prices now, like, oh, let's go buy, you know, a 70, 80, or, you know, some of the prices are just ridiculous. $110,000 Ram Limited Dually, you know, like the one that I had, you know, back when you could buy them for $75,000, $80,000, now they're $120,000 for a brand new one if, if you can find one. And so it's like, for me personally, if I'm not gonna use it for a giveaway truck, which I wouldn't at the moment, because once we did those giveaways with those newer trucks, they didn't do a lot better than our trucks that we do now. And so it just kind of ended up being a huge amount of money that we were just kind of like throwing away, it seemed like, you know, somebody got a great truck and that's awesome. But for our business model, always filming the older trucks for the most part and doing work on the older trucks, we've got a lot of guys that just like the older trucks more. Kind of want to stick with pre-emissions because that seems to be kind of our niche. But in terms of at some point getting a newer truck for us personally, I'm sure we'll do it. But at the time, I'm like, I'd rather spend more time and money on focusing on moving, getting a shop built out and paying cash for all that stuff versus buying a $100,000 pickup truck just to park in the driveway and say, hey, look what I daily drive. That's where my mind's at more, but I'm sure we will get another one at some point. Would you ever buy a diesel Ford Excursion as a family vehicle or for a giveaway? You know what's funny? I was actually looking at one yesterday and it was a Cummins swap. It was a 24 valve Cummins swapped Excursion. He only wanted 15.9 for it. And he said there's 25,000 miles on the conversion, everything works except for the overhead display that tells you how many estimated MPGs you have. He said cruise works, tack works, everything works, but I had just a couple rust bubbles. He said other than that, everything works like it should. And I was thinking, how many people, I just, I don't know if people would be interested in that kind of a giveaway or not, since it's not like a pickup. It's on a truck frame and it's got, you know, the power of a diesel truck and everything else. I mean, it's, it's a, you know, diesel truck and it's on the same chassis suspension and all that other stuff, but it's like, I just kind of question how many people would be into a Ford Excursion if it was coming swapped or a 7.3. I've never really asked you guys, but let me know down in the comments below. Would you guys rock an Excursion diesel or no? Let me know. Question from Caleb.Cummins.731. If there was one truck you had that you wish you still had, which one would it be and why? And keep up the great work, love the videos. One truck it'd be hard to pick one. It'd be really hard to pick one because like the limited Ram Dually we had, that one was special because of the fact that that's the truck that I had when me and Reagan got married. My Longhorn that I had, that was the truck that I had when me and Reagan got engaged. My first Dually I ever had, my second gen 12 valve five speed, that was a cool truck because that was the first truck that I had when Reagan and I started dating, when we went on our first date, like a little piece of sentimental attachment to a bunch of different ones. But in terms of one that would probably mean the most to have kept would probably be Nasty Rep. And not because it was like the nicest or the most expensive or the cleanest. We just had it for a long time and we did a lot of stuff to that truck and it was so reliable. There was, n there was no doubt in my mind if I got in that truck and I wanted to drive anywhere, I had no hesitations. I could get in that truck, I would trust it to drive anywhere. Yeah, it leaked a little oil here and there, but it's like, I would trust that truck to drive anywhere, wouldn't question it, I'd just hop in and go. It would probably be that truck for that reason. Jason Barsness, are you ever going to go back to actually working on the trucks and recording what you're doing like the old days or continue to farm the work out and just do promo videos? <laughs> I can't totally hate on him for that comment because he's genuinely asking and, and it's not that it's not true either. You know, like I said, I've got these excuses of like, the shop is an animal barn, the ground's not level in it, it's just a dirt floor with rubber mats on it, there's no lift, it's super dusty, animals come in and out of there all the time so it makes it a mess, smells like animal manure. It's not ideal, it's not fun to work in there. I've made it work for the first year and a half that we were here, I used it and now the last six months I don't even go in there for anything for truck work. Like I keep some tools in there but I don't work in there because I just, I hate working in there and it's just not comfortable, the lighting's terrible. But we're in the moving process and I've told myself I'm gonna try to do the best that I can is when we get this new shop and it's all finished out, new concrete, drainage, nice lighting, in insulated. I cannot be making any excuses about not having a good place to film and get stuff done because I'm going to have everything that I need within, you know, one barn, one building that's all done. And it's going to be separate from animals and animals are going to have their own barn and their own space. And I can just have my man cave, truck shop, workshop. And I'm so freaking pumped. 
And in terms of farming out all the work, I don't think we're going to be farming out all the work. And yes, I know you did mention, yes, going back to the old days of when we used to do all kinds of stuff and actually record it all. I do want to do that. And I've actually got some plans that I want to kick off as soon as we get moved. I've got some plans for a Nasty Red 2.0. And I've got some plans for a cool... You guys can stay tuned. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I know it wasn't what I was expecting. I had anticipations of picking up a new truck today. That's going to have to get pushed off. And hopefully we can still pick up the truck. But it's getting some things addressed right now. So anyways, guys, you guys are awesome. Don't forget to enter to win that 2007 5 Night Cummins Plus 5. $1,000 of cash if you want to get entered to win that thing. If you don't, again, totally understand. But if you do, it does end this Thursday, April 14th at 11.59 p.m. And then that giveaway is gone. So take your chances. If you want to get in on that and you want to take a chance of winning a free truck and $5,000 cash, you can buy any of this cool freaking gear off the store. And as soon as you check out, you're automatically entered to win. Some items sell out and then they're gone. So, you know, if you find something you like and it's in stock, I wouldn't wait around. I'd probably just place the order if you're actually thinking about entering because if you wait till the last day, some stuff is gone and then you can't get another chance at it. So thanks so much guys for all the love and all the support. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.